I mean, this kind of reminds you of, like AI, like the the two like the two characters speaking to each other. It's like AI learning what humans are, you know. But they don't have any context for any of it, you know, because they don't have, you know, the five senses, you know. They don't understand time. It's kind of like that, in a way. Uh, water. It's small water. This is a pool. Humans can go swimming here. It's like a man-made mini-river. Why was there such a need to make a thing like this? Couldn't they just go find a river? I don't know either. No humans just like to make things. They must have just felt like it. I see. It can't be helped if they wanted to. Besides that, do humans enjoy swimming? Humans are always in a rush after all. Maybe they're desperate to swim in a place without any rivers. I don't know. You know, it's for convenience, I guess. But I guess they don't understand that. Bamboo. Any pandas around here? Are they extinct yet? You know, I've always heard the pandas are going extinct. Um, I don't think they're extinct yet, you know? Because they always, I always feel like they're always on the edge. Um, what's this? These are not flowers, but they look similar. For that matter, the surface is smooth. It's green, so it's not a tree, right? Or is it a green tree? It's very tall. This is bamboo. At a glance, it might as well be a tree. In the past, humans used these to use these, or use these to use these? A bit of a typo translator. Uh, humans use these. Oh, maybe not. No, no, no. I'm, I'm the one that's arrogant, actually. No, humans used to use these. Okay, that's how you read it. And that, no, it's, it's my fault. It's a skill issue. Uh, in the past, Humans used to use these to build houses and stuff. Okay. I don't know, it just looks weird when you, when you read it. When you see two words, you know, that are similar being used two in a row. I felt redundant, but uh, no. I think I just read it wrong. Uh, maybe that building over there is made from, from these. It seems to be made of various materials. If you cut this bamboo, you'll find a ball-like girl inside. Or at least that's what happened to the tail of the bamboo cutter. A human was inside this bamboo? Does that human does that mean humans can be that small? Oh uh, well, um oh, if it's a baby, one maybe one could fit. I told you before, humans have big imaginations. They can see things that aren't there, so there weren't really any tiny humans. Probably. Is that so? Then have I said there might be a copy of my folly inside? Thinking like that is using imagination? <laughs> that might be the case. If it's my shortcut though. It could really be inside. If that's so, then I have to smash them all. Bam, bam, bam. I take out my samurai sword. My antivirus buster sword. Huh? Ain't this the desktop or is it just a picture or what? It looks like a picture. I was surprised. For a moment, I thought the owner changed the wallpaper. I thought they came back. You know, that seems to imply that the computer has been abandoned. <laughs> you know, like, they're, like, stuck in this computer, but, like, the, the owner is, like, not here. I wonder what happened. Hmm. Collection. Image. Folder. Text. Modified. Hmm. Okay. More images. 2015 to 2018. More folders. Ah, yes, new folder. I always see that, by the way. You know, people... I don't know. I guess everyone is a little bit different. But, like, some people, they just make new folder, and then they just leave it as new folder. You don't even, even rename it. You know, they just make the folder. And then they just make copies of it. I see that a lot, actually. And sometimes they even put, like, everything... They put all shortcuts on the desktop and never, you know, actually... Um, like, learn to use folders, even. They just put everything on, on the desktop, which is crazy. Uh, how could they fit in? I mean, yeah. I don't know. I don't know, not to go into, like, the AI art debate again. Um, but I guess, I mean, I don't know, it, it really depends. It really, you need to redefine, you know, how AI art is used, basically, you know, like, you know, whether or not you can monetize it. I feel like it's stealing only if you're monetizing it, you know? Because I always see all the time, you know, how humans do that, too. 
right? They just take someone's art, post it on Reddit, and steal all the karma, you know, something like that. Like people do it all the time, or like they on YouTube, whatever, you know, they take an animation, they add like a, a small meme at the end, you know, and that's it. That's the only change they make, and they get、um, five million views, you know, and take and they monetize it and take all the ad money or whatever. You know, humans do it all the time.、Uh, for AI, though, it, I think it depends. Like,、um, at the very least, they're putting more effort into it in a way, right? It's actually something not so lazy. It's like putting like a meme text on an image and just saying that that you made it.、Um, in my opinion, anyway. But yeah, like if it's like for fun, I feel like it's fine. Where like no one's monetizing it. If you're selling it, you know, obviously that's you know it's also unprecedented as well. You know, what's the law for that? What's the law for like AI? I don't know. No one's ever made that yet.、Um, but yeah, I feel like selling it obviously would be like you know it could be considered stealing, I guess. But also, I mean, isn't aren't humans also like like on the other hand, aren't humans simply like, I mean, a lot of us anyway. I say us, but, you know, a lot of artists rather、um, are just simply reusing the stuff they learn from other artists. You know, like anime, just in general, like the anime art style. You know, all anime characters have have a certain look they have, right? Is that stealing if you're using the same art style as someone else? You know, I don't know. I don't know. It's complicated. I feel like、um, I just think it's interesting. I mean, I'm not gonna use it myself because I don't know. I'm not gonna use it for anything.、Um, but I just think it's interesting that AI can replicate,、uh, you know, human like parts of like aspects of human creativity in such a way. It can even make it, you know, make music and stuff, right? But at the moment, obviously, it's still not amazing because、uh, you can still see some flaws. Right, there's still some flaws left, and it's still just based on patterns and whatnot. But it's still interesting. Anyway,、oh, by the way, I was gonna say, by the way,、uh, White Rabbit. I don't know if you can hear me at this point, but <laughs>、um, I think you might still be behind. Maybe I'm not sure if you are or not because you're saying you're referring to something that I talked about, like I don't know, like 30 minutes ago.、Um, YouTube is weird for live streams. You actually have to go to, you have to press live. You have to like move the video to to I think the the seeker or whatever the video player all the way to the right if you want to like、um, be like the most recent I guess if that makes sense you know it is convenient though for for YouTube streams you can actually move back and forth even when I'm live unlike Twitch、uh, but that, that also makes it kind of weird if you're, you're responding to something that I said like 30 minutes ago <laughs> so you need to move it all the way to the right I don't know if you can hear even hear me you're probably in the past. Probably hear this like thirty minutes later, but go all the way to the right on the video player in order to like,、um, you know, or press the I think the live button I think or something like that. I can't remember. I've only watched like a few YouTube streams, but you, you press the live button and then you can go to the most recent,、uh, you know, I guess、uh, point of the stream, which is to say, you know, live. Anyway, but yeah, the 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 whole by the way, yeah, the AI art stuff is complex. I mean, I'm not, I'm not definitely not an expert by the way. I'm not. This is just my thoughts as like this random, you know, person.、Uh, so I, I'm not at a how you say an, an authority on this at all. I just think it's pretty cool, you know. Even if there's some ethics, you know, uh, 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 involved and everything, you know, yeah, I can't speak. The technology is really cool. I feel like anyway.、Um, I just went on a big tangent, but anyway,、uh, you're. What am I doing? Oh yeah, L- we're looking at the folders and the files and everything. And the owner sucks at organizing. Nothing is sorted, and naming sucks too. Yeah, that's what I was saying actually. Yeah, that's what I was saying right, right before. Um, no, like well, everything's so messy. You know, I'm the opposite. I keep everything organized for the most part. M- maybe I'm not as organized as some other people, but you know, or like the like really organized people. But you know, I, I put everything into a folder and everything, right? What if Goyo couldn't organize it for them, like this? You can't tell where anything is. No, I just can't touch.、Uh, I can't just touch the humans' things. There might be a reason why it's all like this. There's no way. It's clear they thought it was a pain and just replaced their files randomly. Don't touch anything. If you do, I'll kill you. Ah,、oh, jeez, scary, scary. Goyo Kun, you're actually really loyal.、Huh? Even though the PC has just been left on without the cursor having touched in a long time. <laughs> Until your owner comes back, you just have to keep putting up with me. Shut up. I'll properly do my job. I will find you, Agape.、Hmm. Okay, so we're seeing some, yeah, some, 
dimensions of how like the user is in the round. So possibly they have, you know, again, abandoned this PC. You know, that kind of, that does happen, you know, for uh, computers. Eventually it just becomes obsolete, right? So usually you would, uh, you know, move at least important files into your new computer if you make a new computer and whatnot, or, or buy a new computer, rather. Family photo. Excavation sites, war-related news, and I love you. <laughs> Just in case. What was that? 2018, August 1st. Huh. Something about a war as well? They go to war? Oh. Oh, interesting. Okay. We even see the date here. 2025. So it's been, um, I can't do math. It's been seven years, I think. It's been seven years, apparently. Around seven years. So I guess they the user went to war. I'm assuming they got uh, recruited. So that's what happened. Kind of sad, actually. You think about it. And you know these this, these uh, these this, this, these programs. You know, just walking around his computer forever and ever until the computer, I guess, eventually, uh, you know. dies you know i'm assuming because it gets so dusty you know nobody cl nobody's cleaning this pc it's just left on forever it's gonna make you feel guilty for switching computers you know, you're, you're gonna make your uh your, your software sad you know they're gonna be sad because you left them no um it's orange colored what's that connected to the ceiling who knows what is that i've also been wondering since earlier if i could connect to the internet i could have looked it up myself then I wouldn't have to ask you. Sure, the internet can be fun, but it's not as great of a place as you think. It's fun at first, and you learn more and more things, but you start to input all sorts of random info. It just stops being exciting. Even if I delete all the logs, it happens again. That excitement, or as humans would say, how fun it is, or how fun it is, I guess, it's just kind of gone. That's why I'm jealous of Goyokun. I wish you could ex install the excitement into me. I don't really get it. So you got too used to the net and it became boring. Since I've never been online, that still sounds nice to me. I'm gonna try installing my feelings into you. <laughs> if we did an exchange, would the excitement return to you? Or could it be that it can't ever return? I'm going to install my feelings into you. I don't know. That's why you gotta source your art, I guess. Nobody. That's. An, I feel like that's another problem. By the way, people don't source their. They don't source anything. That kind of pisses me off. <laughs> you know, people complain about copyright and everything. That's fair, but like, at least you know, copyrights from big corporations, right? But if you're gonna like take stuff from like you know indie developers or indie artists or whatever, you gotta source your stuff. You know, you gotta say where you got it from. You can't just like. Again, I, I already ranted about this, but I'll, I see a lot of people just, just like add some meme text, you know, they just add some like, ooh, funny haha text over it and then they don't source, you know, give the source of where that came from. And when they do, it's usually like, oh, I don't know, I just found it on Google or something, you know, and they just take it. <laughs> they don't even bother to find out who actually made it. You know, people don't think about that, I feel like, I mean, especially kids, I feel like, as well. Or maybe not just kids, but you know, like people just don't think about how something is made, you know? You just think it's like it's out there and they don't realize like a person made this. And obviously maybe it's a bit more muddled because AI is making stuff too. I don't know. Um, but I, I don't know. I, I mean, at the moment, you know, at least in 2023, you know, April 2nd, the time recording this, um, I don't think AI art is that prevalent that nobody would be able to tell whether it's human or AI, or AI as far as I know. I mean, I... I haven't come across that problem myself, but um, maybe it will be, you know, in the future when it's more, you know, more powerful, more efficient. Anyway, if something is strange. Nah, that's because Goyokun doesn't, uh, doesn't anything? Doesn't anything about it. Okay, now this is a typo. All right, you know, I, the other typo that I called out wasn't a typo. It was just, you know, it was just me, <laughs> but uh, I think this is a typo. 
Haha, got you! <laughs> no, no. That's because Goyokun doesn't know anything about games. This picture is of an old fashioned one. Games. If it's solitaire, poker, or chess, then I know about them. Is this similar? You know, uh, what was that about? Space pinball? You know? That's another one. Came free with, uh, I believe, Windows XP, was it? Was it Windows 95 or Windows XP? I don't remember. It's been a long time. But I remember playing Space Pinball, you know? Default game. And also Minesweeper. But I, I never actually understood how to play Minesweeper when I was a kid. I just clicked on stuff and I didn't understand how to play it. Anyway, um, I guess so. This is like one of their friends. There's actually a ton of different kinds. Some look just like this, and others are so realistic it's like a human's really there. And then some are just words or pictures. What's the purpose in making these? The humans like games, you know, like this RPG Maker game <laughs> that I'm playing right now. That's what it seems like. It's all about pleasure. Humans play these and have fun. Well, it's not like humans will die without fun, but having some makes them feel good. How good actually feels though, I wouldn't know. I see. So they feel good. If I played a game with you, would we feel good too? <laughs> Even if we played, it always ended a draw. If nobody wins, the game never ends. Sounds boring. All these crazy humans and their video games. Why would they do such a thing? You know, I'm waiting until... I mean, maybe it's already... I mean, kind of already actually a thing, but I was going to say... Um, I'm just waiting for AI generated video games. What's that gonna look like, you know? People have already started implementing AI actually into a video game. I think there's, you know, I forget what it's called, but it's actually a game that um, I was considering playing, but it's like it's really hard to set up, so I'm too lazy now <laughs> to do it. But there's basically like a, a game on itch.io where it uses like an AI chatbot, you know? And it's like the, the idea is that the AI chatbot is like a Yandere anime girl. You talk to the end of the anime girl, and then she reacts naturally, like like an AI, right? Um, which is pretty, uh, how do you say, it's pretty sophisticated, you know? Uh, these chat bots that you use with AI, you know, they can respond pretty naturally of, like, 60% of the time. <laughs> you know, sometimes they just go on random tangents, or, like, they don't understand anything you say at all, and just, you know, mix stuff up. Um, but, you know, it's pretty, pretty interesting. Though uh, it requires like APIs, I guess, and stuff. You gotta sign up for like open AIs. I don't know. It's too annoying to uh, set up, in my opinion. But it's interesting. You know, I do wonder. Yeah, I think I mentioned before, actually. Yeah, you know, how if they're gonna implement like AI into like video games and stuff, that would be kind of cool. You know, it would be like real like branching choices. You know, instead of like picking a choice from like one, two, three, like a visual novel, you could just type it in and then the AI could respond, right? Just like it, it harks back to like really old text adventure games, you know, where you could like type in whatever you want. But obviously like actual text adventure games would feel really restrictive, right? Because you only type from like a very like specific command. But if you have an AI to interpret your language, then it could really feel like, you know, like a, a very um, open experience, which is pretty cool. Yeah, AI, yeah, there you go. And probably some YouTubers, you know, are gonna like, jump on that and make like make bank <laughs> basically they get gonna make bajillion views you know on that meme ai and there go probably I, I wonder if manly baz hero is gonna play that you know maybe by the time i put this on my channel you know maybe manly's already done it <laughs> but uh i'm too lazy i don't know i'm too lazy to do it. i think it's a demo as well it's not even done but i don't know uh yeah, she could hack all your devices and know everything about you. Yeah, well, it's not, I mean, not a real, well, I don't know. I wonder, you know, maybe, you know, what was his name? Dan Salvato? You know, is that is that the sequel to DDLC? No, um, anyway. Uh, the flowers are dripping tiny water. Why? This is what happens after it rains. In the human world, there's time when water the size of one pixel no, around five pixels will fall from the sky. Hmm, five pixels. Is that so? Why does that happen? I was sure the water was something found under the ground. Does someone carry up a river and turn it upside down? Is this a prank? You know what you see, you see Goyokun, there's something called the water cycle, you know? No, uh, <laughs> there are any humans with the power to do something like that. Rain's a natural phenomenon. 
Brainiacy isn't something humans can control. It just starts and stops on, on its own. Without water, these plants here, and humans too, wouldn't be able to survive. That's why I got phrases like bless the rains and such. But there's also times where the rain's bad and too much comes down. Sometimes enough to even mess up a human's home. So that, so the human world has RNG as well. It'd be nice if you could rewrite the table values. You know, it's an interesting way to think about it. You know, if only I could rewrite the table values for me winning the, lot the lottery. You know, that'd be great. I guess funnily enough, I actually never do, I, I, I never actually, um, I never actually, uh, I guess, pay. You, you play or play? I guess play? You say play? I don't know. I never played a lottery, I guess. I feel like it's a scam, <laughs> you know? It's like, if you know how probability works, like, why even bother? Anyway. Uh, this wiggle, uh, wiggliness? This, this wiggliness. Mm. This wiggliness. I've seen this before. It would be inside the water. Another water PNG. You got it. Still, for an underwater picture, this one's an odd choice. Most people will pick a nicer one. These white things. What are they? Tree branches? Other than everything I've seen, that's the closest thing that they resemble. But why are they white? These things are called coral. They turn white when they die. So this is a dead coral. It's just like the things in the recycle bin. And they can be red, yellow, all sorts of colors. But when the temperature of the sea rises, they can't handle it and die. I die. I turn all white too. Since I'm all black, I'm a little curious what it'll be like when I die. But if you're dead, you're too dead to see yourself. Even if you want to think about it, isn't it kind of pointless? Maybe someone would be able to see it. Like when I was walking through the recycle bin. If they saw, how would they feel? Would they think about my corpse being all white? I don't know. Also, I didn't know that. Coral that turn white. I didn't know they turn white when they die or something. Uh, this game has been pretty chill. Yeah, I mean, as far as I know, it seemed like uh, it would not have the same tone as the developers of the game. It would it's not be murder, killing spree, happy, happy, wacky times. No, it's... Uh, you know, it's more, I guess... Thoughtful, you know, it's, it's just kind of like, oh, melancholic in a way, actually. Yeah, it has a different tone to it, it seems like. It wasn't really tagged as horror, so I wasn't expecting horror games. Apparently. I wasn't sure, but. Oh, uh, something is falling down. What is this? These are sakura flowers. They're scattering their petals. Scattering. Do flowers all spread their parts? Scattering petals is a part of a flower's life cycle. It's finished. When the petals die, the flowers cut them off and throw them away. Didn't I tell you before? Plants adapt to the four seasons. I see. So that means these are dead. But they're still pretty. It's of the inside of the recycle bin. I can feel this way because the PC's owner filled the recycle bin with pretty pictures. Hmm. <laughs> I'm still convinced your owner just had bad taste. It's funny how he, he enjoys the garbage <laughs> that the user put in the recycle bin. Also, that's an interesting thought. Flower petals, you know, sakura petals or, or cherry blossoms, they're just like the equivalent of toenails, I guess. You know, they're just clipping their toenails and uh, flying in at you, I guess. What is this place? A lot of beds are lined up. I think this is probably a hospital. When humans' bodies become weak, they'll come here to sleep. Is it sleeping something they do every day? Did you not say that? That kind of sleeping is a little different. Humans can also sleep to restore corrupted data. Is that so? So does that mean all the people are corrupted? That's right. Or all the people here are corrupted. Uh, for most people, sleeping will restore them back to how they used to be. But for some, they're unable to recover and die. I once saw a drama that called it the lifespan. Lifespan. Humans will die, it's inevitable. But the time it takes to die can vary. So the moment you run out is called the lifespan. Live with all you've got until you can't do it anymore. Then you'll reach lifespan. 
I wonder if we'll die someday. If it's inevitable. Of course we will. It's inedible. At any moment, you could just disappear. Well, I've been killing, you know, or, you know, Goyo's been killing Agape a bunch of times. I guess that doesn't count. Do your clones, you know, feel the, the touch of death, you know, every time you die? I guess. Children's toys. This is a toy story, I guess? The toy story file. Oh, wait. Is there nothing to look at, actually? I didn't see anything. <laughs> I'm, I'm paranoid. Where, where? Usually there's like every scene, there's like a thing you could talk about, right? Where is it? I don't see it. Hello? That's weird. Can't do this, developer. This is making me paranoid. Like I'm missing something now. Hello? Is it behind here? Is it hiding? No? No. Oh, I guess we'll just move on, I guess. Now it's just darkness. Um... Alright. See ya, white rabbit. Yeah, do you ever die because you just clone yourself? That reminds me of Naruto. You know when he does a shadow clone jitsu? Does he die every time? I don't know. Uh, what's that? Is it a bed? That's called a crib. It's a bed for babies, humans that were just born. Humans all grow. At the start, there's, there'll be about one third of a crib. And by the end, they'll be around 1.5 times or 2 times bigger. When humans just born, they can't talk, play, or even mess around with a PC. All they can do is laugh, cry, and eat. The big humans watch over them as they grow. And eventually, they're grown enough to use a PC. You know, that's the purpose of all humans, to use a computer. They can't talk? And how exactly do babies learn how to talk? Why aren't they born with the knowledge like we are? Or aren't they just like you, knowing so little? Kagoyo could be a naive baby software too. I'm not really sure, but I find it likely that you're making fun of me. Big and small humans. With such a big change, are they really the same thing? Maybe they transfer their data into something else midway. Why do the small humans? Why do babies occur? Why do they become big? Ain't that obvious? If they didn't, humans would go to extinct. They just keep on dying until they run out. Software does not understand that at all. Why not simply copy and paste or something? You know? Why do you have to make babies? There are many colors. Do you climb on top of it? This is called a merry-go-round. You get on the horse of the car and go around in circles. Humans find it fun. Kids in particular. I think it'd be interesting to try riding it. Does that make me a kid? <laughs> I guess it does. For me, I think I'd be bored if I tried. All it does is spin in circles and go up and down. I could easily do that while standing right here. Why go out of your way for this? Spinning in circles, going up and down. I think it sounds interesting. It looks different from what I usually see. Sitting down, touching it, spinning around and going up and down. How does it actually feel? Since I don't know, I think it seems interesting. Hmm. Then it's decided. You're a kid, huh, Goyokun? What should I do? Am I going to grow two times bigger? I don't want to become a follower that big. <laughs> Just, you're so cute, Goyukun. You know, maybe if you become uh, bigger, you'll be a better virus buster, you know? Or maybe you'll just be bloated. I don't know. Isn't this, isn't that, that Jesus painting? Or whatever, sort of. There are items lined up on this table. What is that red stuff? That's probably wine. Alcohol. And in front of those are meals. These are what humans eat. So that's... They put that inside their mouths. Doing that, humans would charge electricity. That's right. If humans don't do that, they die. Apparently, this picture depicts a final meal before death. Originally, there were people in this picture, but it looks like you're older 
pick the version without them. They photoshopped Jesus out of the picture, apparently. A final meal before death. I wonder how humans feel before disappearing. Before I disappear, I want to eat, is what I guess. Do humans love to eat? If so, does that mean cooking is fun for humans? It seems that humans are programmed with three main desires to keep them alive. If they aren't fulfilled, they'll self-destruct. Eating is one of those three. That's why, even though they're about to die, they'll still continue that cycle of eating. Then in my dying moments, I will still be trying to kill you, since that's how I'm programmed. Then until I die, I'll keep leaving shortcuts and getting your way. Like a gust of wind, I'll keep blowing you all over the place. How annoying. Can't you at least behave a little when you're dying and just bug these pictures or something? I was programmed this way, so no. I was programmed. I was born this way? What was that? Was there a song like that? I can't remember how it goes though. I was born this way or something? I don't know. Except it's I, I'm, I, I was programmed this way. Hmm. Funeral? Maybe? I wonder, what is this? There are many flowers placed around this picture. But this is a funeral. It's a ceremony humans perform when one dies. Funeral. Ceremony. But why do they do that? Do you remember that thing we saw before? The graves. The stones placed over where humans are buried. They follow a procedure for doing it. Seems there's a lot of ways to go about it. In Japan, this guy in funny clothes called a monk will come and chant sutras. Doing that, you can make a memorial service. If you don't, if you don't, if you don't, apparently the human soul won't be able to disappear. Soul. Humans are alive because they have souls. Dying is when their soul leaves their body. Apparently every human has their own unique soul. That's where their individuality comes from. Well, it's got nothing to do with us, though. What is a soul? Yes, yeah, it's just a matter of fact, we just have souls, I guess. It's just a thing. You thought the title was a joke, but it's actually kind of flirting? Yeah, I mean, I'm assuming that's the... I, you know, just looking back at developers of the game, Zeno, despite how gory, you know, Zeno was, I, I feel like the developer just ships their characters together, so... Um, Goyakun, hey, you listening? What you looking at? Hey! Ignoring me, huh? Fine, whatever. Okay, just looking at the sunset, I guess. Goyakun, hey. Goyakun, are you bugged out? Hey! Boring. So boring. Hey, Goyo, what's on your mind? Hey! So noisy. You know, extrovert versus introvert, by the way. No, I'm, I was just thinking about when I die. The moment I'm uninstalled and completely disappear. Humans have souls, right? Do we have them too? I hope so. They're seriously obsessed with death, huh? I mean, death is something I can experience. I can't touch water. I can't eat food. I can't create things. And I can't become a flower. The only thing I can have is death. It's the only human thing I can feel. No, yo. You said that dying is when you disappear, but is it really like that? Since we're just programs made to serve humans, Maybe you were already dead. I don't know. I haven't disappeared yet. You... Sometimes you say complicated things. You talk like a human would. If it's you, then I'm sure. Compared to me, you'd have a better chance of understanding a human's true. A human's true as in like true and false, I guess. Again, this, this game is making you feel guilty, by the way. <laughs> you know, anytime you uninstall a program, you're killing its soul. Don't you understand? When you delete that cat girl picture, you know, that cat girl anime girl uh, PNG, you're deleting her soul. Don't you understand? No, um... Again, another place of no uh, Xbox, it seems. There's a text box. No text box, I guess. Save the game. Even though, you know, for most of the game, it's just going left and right. <laughs> I don't know if there's any point in saving, but... Do it anyway. Oh, 
up, 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 up. Swan boats. <laughs> Just walking from left to right forever. Phone booth. Also, my neighbor is playing loud music again. Oh my god. <laughs> Hopefully, you don't hear that. But here's the moon. Yes. What is this? That's the moon. It's a satellite ob orbiting Earth that you can see at night. You've seen it before, remember? But it's different from before. It's rounder. And there's details on it. I could look at it forever. The moon looks like it's coming closer. Even humans can't approach the moon. This thing called space separates it from them. And living things can't survive in space. But somehow, people broke through anyways. Even though it's uh, 380,000 kilometers away, humans try to reach where the moon was. I see. I get it. Since I also want to touch it, if we got closer, what would we see? Is it slippery? How bright is it? Wanting to go somewhere you can't. Wanting to experience things. So even humans feel that way. All right. did you know? A rabbit lives on the moon. It does this thing called pounding mochi, where it pounds his white Oh, like stuff. Uh, even I can tell that's a lie, Agape. Well, you were the one who just said that living things can't survive in space. No, we don't know for sure. Apparently, this is no legend. It might really be true, or it might not. Either way, apparently some humans believed it. Then maybe I should keep it in the log. The rabbits live on the moon. Okay. Yeah, hopefully you don't hear the I mean, I do have like a noise gain, like a noise suppression, and I have my, uh, what do you call it? Call it, is it called equalizer? I can't remember. I think, yeah, EQ rather, yeah. I have EQ'd, you know, in such a way that hopefully you don't hear background noise, but <laughs> it's always so annoying, I don't know. Uh, even just beyond just recording, it's just like, it's annoying, hear my neighbor's music very bassy you know it sucks anyway uh there are various things here this is food i think the cups are filled with something red is this the wine we saw before also ah no i've been, I've been i'm being assaulted by japanese again just like in zeno where like some parts are untranslated if i translate this then it'll be on the screen <laughs> on the video um but yeah is this the wine we saw before agape what do you think it is? Ah, right. Wine. It probably is, yeah. That bottle does look like a wine bottle. I see. Compared to wondering by myself, I think I like it better when hearing you explain, Agape. It's like the pictures I've already seen have increased in resolution, even though they haven't. Now I know that this shows human food and drinks. Those are trees and that is the sun. Until you taught me it was a meaningless circle. But now I know that it's a big light that gives light to humans. Please, teach me more. If that's okay with you. I guess. If Goyo can treat me just a little nicer and shows more compassion, then I'll consider it. That I can't do. You can, huh? Well, I said before that I'm just killing time, so if you like it, you can keep on listening, Goyo. Okay. I actually don't like the idea of picnics. <laughs> you know, it's a, I don't know. Maybe I'm just that much of a germaphobe or I, I hate nature, but like, I don't like the feeling of sitting on a blanket on top of grass. I just don't like grass. I don't know. I guess I'm just, so, I'm too used to the city, I guess, or something. You know, I don't like nature, but like, I don't know. It just feels gross. The grass just feels like itchy. <laughs> it's just like you're, you're sitting on a bunch of hair, basically, like nature's hair. I like there's bugs, I like mud, and probably poop. I don't know. It's like it's gross. I don't like it. Anyway. Uh hey you go, yo, look. It's a picture of vegetables. We found it. These? So this is a picture of vegetables. 
I thought they were trees. These vegetables are being grown in a place called a greenhouse. Look, they got tomatoes and cucumbers. So they gather them all like this. Are each one of those circles food? That's right. Humans will harvest them by hand or from machines. Then they'll sell them to other humans. Humans can either cook their vegetables or eat them raw. After being processed, the flavor and amount of nutrients can change. I see. Hey, is growing vegetables similar to growing humans? Since these vegetables all start small, are they going to become big? Bingo! Since these are all ready for harvest, this is as big as they'll get. After this, they'll finish their lifespan and wither. Seeds are, I guess in human terms, they'll be children. After withering, the seeds will spread and new vegetables will grow. It's a survival strategy. In order to leave seeds, they'll die quickly. Do vegetables need different sexes to have children too? Oh, that's right. Veggies also got different sexes. I, I think most living things do, actually. Do female vegetables also wear frills? Nah, <laughs> they're off the mark. The only creatures that make and wear clothes are humans. So they don't. Oh, that's confusing. Is that how it works? I thought... I don't know, I'm not sure. I'm actually not sure how it works exactly. I know that flowers, you know, get pollinated by bees and everything, right? I think that's how it works? I don't know. There's something floating here. That's called steam. You know, not, not the steam that you buy games from, but rather, you know, water vapor. Uh, if you heat up water, it turns out like this. When you cool it, it turns back into water. Ain't that interesting? Why is there steam here? Is the stuff in this cup the cause? This place is called a cafe, where you'll find drinks like this. Humans have a tendency to drink these kinds of steamy hot drinks. This is an, uh, just another example of pursuing pleasure. Know how humans gotta drink or else they'll die, yeah? That's why they'll change the flavor for more variety. Some drinks make steam, and others are so cold that they condense. There's also apparently a nasty mud-colored drink called coffee. Since they'll die without drinking, they'll intake it in any form, huh? So this is what humans do in order to survive. You said that in order to live, humans have three important actions. Eating, sleeping, and what? Ah, uh, it's no too soon for Goyo-kun's ever seen a- who's, ever, who's never seen a pop-up before. Next time. I think, yeah, it's, it's- Who's ever? No, it's never. I think it's- that's another typo. Another typo. You dodged the subject last time, too. What do I find your main body before this next time comes? Uh, I can't hear, I can't hear. You'll just have to ask again before killing me. Eating, sleeping, and what? I don't know. Also, I'm drinking some water myself. <sighs> you know, when I think of water, you know, they were talking about like uh, hot drinks and whatnot. I mean, I feel like I always say this, but I feel, you know. I actually don't like hot drinks, you know? Maybe I'm weird, but I don't, I don't like tea, I don't like coffee. And I just don't like hot drinks in general, I don't know. I feel like anything that's hot and warm, you know, you, you can't like... Basically, you can't chug it, you know? I don't know. Because it, I, it just feels weird to chug like hot drinks, so I just don't drink hot drinks. I don't like hot drinks. I like, I prefer cold drinks. Like, you know? I prefer that. It feels more refreshing, you know, to me. When I drink hot drinks, it just doesn't feel very refreshing. I don't know. Uh, we reached the summit. Yahoo! Yahoo! It's -a me, Mario! No, I'm... I wish you wouldn't raise your font size so suddenly. It startled me. <laughs> okay. Also, um, what does Yahoo mean? I don't know. It's just what people say on mountain peaks. When you face an opposing mountain and yell out, Yahoo! The words get returned to you in layers. The Yahoo was their word. Like, like you know, it's the Well, I'm thinking fireworks, I guess. You know, and like it's a kind of a cliche, but I think it's like a real thing. 
Um, but I always see it in anime when there's like fireworks, people say Tamaya or something, right? Tamaya or something else. I don't know. I can't remember. That's what that reminds me of. But I guess that's fireworks, not mountains. Uh, is that so? Is the mountain replying to them? Or perhaps having heard the yelling, a group of nearby humans return the call all at once. Well then, when then you hear a yahoo, you had returned it. Come on, girl, you couldn't say it. I'm fine. I'm not used to making my font size big. <laughs> this is a font size. It's easy. Just use a tag to specify it. Come on, this time let's face that mountain over there. Go on, say it. Yeah, yahoo. Yahoo. <laughs> I don't know. Was it? I made a video actually. When I say make a video. Um. I made, I made like a meme video based on a song by, uh, what is his name? I can't pronounce his name. Neil Ciceriga, Ciceriga. I, I, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but he's the guy that makes a lot of like meme videos of like songs. You know, the, you know, that one song is like, Bustin makes me feel good. <laughs> you know, Bustin, Bustin, Bustin. You know, he just edits that song, right? The Ghostbuster song. It's just, it's just his Bustin, Bustin all over. And apparently it's just a, it's just a funny song. Like he, he made an album and, and I, he based it on the, Yahoo, um, uh, Yodel, you know, of the, of the Yahoo website, I guess, yeah, Yahoo Mail or whatever, you know, anyone still remembers that? Anyway, this is all just to explain that I made a, a dumb video based on that, where I animated uh, a Toho character, you know, say Yahoo, I don't know. Anyway, uh, that's just, you know, this is, that's just what it reminds me of, man. Uh, I can't hear you, say it with bigger font. Yahoo! <laughs> nice, nice. Come on, let's raise that by one point more. Yahoo! <laughs> was the, that wasn't that great, Yahoo. You really can't do it if you try, go, you could. I feel a little funny inside. Like a mix of being happy at your words, or feeling like you're making fun of me. And I feel like I don't like you when you tell me what to do. Right. Yeah. Ooh, I can't yodel. I, it's, it's, it was based on like a yodel. It was kind of like the the phrase that they were using in marketing, you know, for Yahoo Mail or whatever. I'm assuming it's just Yahoo Mail. Unless they're branched out or anything else. Yahoo! Yahoo! Or something. I, I can't do it. Anyway. <laughs> uh, whoa. What's lined up here? Goldfish scooping? What does it mean to scoop goldfish? This is called a festival. It's when humans all get together and throw a huge party. These are stalls, and each one's got a food or some kind of game to play. So goldfish scooping is a game where you scoop goldfish with a... Um, it's some kind of round bag, and you just scoop the fish for fun. You can keep them after as pets. So fish could live in human homes. I thought that fish can't live outside of the sea. I've thought about how it would be nice to have fish on the desktop. How would it feel? Would it be fun to watch them swim? Pets are when humans keep creatures without eating them in order to just love them. So I'm sure watching them would be fun, right? Is that so? That's nice. You know, keeping animals as, you know, as, as, like, as entertainment. Amuse me, pets. No, um. Uh, Choco Banana. <laughs> Choco Banana. I feel like I've heard these words before. Why are the words put together? Are these not the words I know, but one with a new meaning? <laughs> aren't these the one, uh, same ones as the ones you know? Or aren't these the same as the ones you know? It's just bananas covered in chocolate. Food can be cut, fried, boiled, and processed into all sorts of different forms. When you heat up chocolate, it melts. It becomes waterish, but when cold, it hardens. So you dip the bananas in while it's hot. I see. So what is the purpose in doing this? Why do so much just to apply chocolate? Uh, who knows? They say bananas taste better with chocolate. I heard some things taste worse though, like pineapple on pizza. How complicated. There really are so many different kinds of human foods. If it was me, I'd be troubled just trying to choose one. Crazy humans. Can't you just like, you know, just put all the nutrients in like one, you know, small like pill and just eat that instead? You know? Uh, I mean, they've, they they have they made like, Meal replacement drinks, actually. You know, or like Soylent or whatever. That used to be banned in Canada, by the way. 
because it didn't count as mirror replacement. But I think it's back or something. But I've heard there's something called uh, Soylent, you know, Soylent, which is funny because that, that just reminds you of, you know, Soylent Green is people, you know, whatever. But it, it, it's, it's interesting they use that name. Um, but yeah, it's like a meal replacement drink where like, it's supposed to replace an entire, entire meal. You just drink it and you got all the nutrients they can have, apparently. I don't know. Uh, it says ice here. Are these packaged? This is shaved ice. It's just crushed ice with syrup on top. Apparently, it's tasty. Ice is solidified water, right? So he must want just water even in this form. Festivals are held in the summer after all. I heard in Japan it gets super hot. If humans get too hot, they die. That's why humans in this time are always looking for ways to cool down. Eating ice being one of them. I heard that the PC we're on won't work as well if it gets too hot. I wonder if it's similar to that. If only the PC could eat ice. If it did, would the feeling of cold be transferred to us? <laughs> you know, if you put ice cubes in your in your computer, I don't know if that would work. I think it would just destroy your computer. <laughs> it would short circuit everything. <laughs> um, a fried octopus is written here. I know this. This octopus is fried. This is wrong. It's not just octopus. It's a fried dish composed of putting octopus inside a batter made from flour and water. The octopus is still fried, so I don't think I was entirely incorrect. Besides that, Agape, you sure know a lot about human foods. I guess so. I had a lot of free time while drifting online, so I've seen tons of sites. Among these, there is one where humans could submit recipes. If you looked up festival, a whole bunch of different dishes would come up. It was kind of interesting learning about your festivals and seeing how humans love them. Fried octopus. Isn't that takoyaki or am I thinking of something else? Taco. I always mix it up, I feel like. Takoyaki. Takoyaki. Takiyaki. Takiyaki. I don't know. Um, what's this? I had never seen something like this before. These are masks. Humans would wear them on their faces. I don't know why, but apparently it's fun for them. I see. So just by wearing these, humans would have fun. Nah, <laughs> I guess so. Humans like to change their avatar too, right? But in order to add a mask to ours, we need a dedicated image, right? So we can't wear them. Nah, <laughs> don't feel down. Even though without a mask, Goyokun's already a real beaut, right? Please stop making fun of me using words I don't know. You know, you gotta... You have to download a Photoshop kun, you know, in order to like cut up the PNG and apply it to their faces. Candy apples. This time, I, I know what it is. These are apples covered in candy. Ding ding ding. Correct. Contestant Goyo gets a million points or a hundred million points. I don't really get it, but it seems I'm right. So candy is like chocolate. Does it melt when hot and hard, uh, harden when cold? That's right. Unlike chocolate, candy is sticky, so apparently it's easier to shape when hot. Seems there's a stall that can shape the melted candy into anything you want. I want to eat a dragon candy. In that case, I think I want a human-shaped one. <laughs> a human shape? Wouldn't that just make it harder to eat? Imagine like a full human, you know, fully like realistic, true-to-life sized human. Shaped candy. You know? Wouldn't that be weird? Uh, cotton candy is written here. Is the candy processed to look like cotton? That's right. If you put the hard candy inside the machine and spin the stick inside, it'll become poofy like a cloud. I see. What do clouds feel like? Putting clouds in your mouth. What would it feel like? If you put in a lot, would they mine? You can't eat real clouds because they aren't solid. It'd be like eating air. I see. Even though they're so big, white, and round, you can't eat them. <laughs> the way you get upset is just like a kid, Goyokun. <laughs> oh. oh. uh, so this is the end of the picture. What a shame. I like the festival vibes. I did find it, it was fun just to walk around. Maybe a human will come to see it too sometime. Maybe. I also had fun. Alright. Time for gacha. 